So this first part, I'm just taking the colors that I'm that I know I'm going to use on the piece, and I'm putting them into my palette so I have them to work with. So for this part, I'm just sketching the rough idea of how I want the picture to turn out. So that way when I add the paint, it's gonna be easier for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my dry brush, wipe that excess off with my first color, which is going to be that jade shade. I'm going to just brush that on. And it's going to start off really transparent, that's okay. And I'm just doing one even coat on all of the parts of the canvas that have that green color. Next I'm going in with this uh, more fine detail brush. And again, I'm going to wet it with the water. I'm actually going to outline my picture in a white color. And this is going to help serve as that guide for whenever the pencil gets covered up. And also, it's going to help create a glowy sort of effect on my canvas. Especially when I get into the layering part of it afterwards. And this part doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to paint over it um, in a little bit. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to add my second layer to it, and I'm going to take some of that yellow and mix it with that jade. So I'm gonna take my paint, take a scoop of my yellow, take a scoop of my jade, and mix those two together into a separate reservoir. So I'm gonna take that now and begin to brush that on to the green. Now if this blends with the green that's already on there, because it's not completely dried yet, that's okay. We're also going to paint this over the white that we added as well. And I'm just doing even strokes and making sure the entirety of it's been covered. this layer about a minute or two to dry. So after we've given the second layer a couple of minutes to dry, I'm going to go in now with a little bit of the white. And again, I'm putting that off to the side and a little bit of that jade color. And I'm going to mix these two together. And then I'm going to start adding a few highlights. So adding these highlights, it's okay if they're not completely opaque. That transparency is going to help add to the glowy sort of black light look that we're going for at the end. And I'm going to add these in the middle and on the sides and kind of just help frame the image that I'm painting here. And you don't have to paint the entirety of it with these highlights, you just want to give little accents with them. And then I'm actually going to go back in with this green and yellow mixture, or this jade and yellow mixture, and add some more of that color towards the center of it. Give it a little more of a glow. And 
And even if you want to paint over some of those highlights we just did to help them peek out from underneath, that leaves a cool effect as well too. So for the next step, I'm going to start on the flowers. And for this piece, I'm going to make them a pink color. So I'm going to take that pink that I have and mix it with a little bit of that white. And I marked out loosely where I want the flowers to be when I did my sketch. So I'm just going to start off by, I'm using the filbert shaped brush, which is the smaller size in the package. And I'm just going to take them and start twisting my brush like so to imitate the shape of petals. When doing this, you don't have to make it a perfect shape. The flowers are a bit irregular looking, so that gives you a little bit of freedom when painting this. And I'm starting off with the base of that white and that pink mixed together. So we're gonna give that a moment to dry before we go back in with a brighter pink. For that brighter pink, I'm going to take one of the round shaped brushes and I'm just going to go straight in with the actual color and give it a bit of an outline. pink highlights in the actual cactus itself and I'm just going to take my brush slightly wet I'm going to dry it off a bit and then go in with that pink on its own and then I'm going to brush that on and I'm going to add it to the sides of it right around where I have those brighter green highlights just to give it a little bit of depth so I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to move on to the final step, which is adding that final white highlight around the entirety of the painting. Now it's 100% okay to not get this right on the mark of that original outline I made. That's actually preferable because you want that original outline to kind of peek through underneath so that way it gives the appearance of it looking as if it's glowing. And I'm taking that white and outlining every part of this painting, including the flowers. So for the details on the can on the cactus, I'm actually going to take some of that white and mix it with a little bit of that jade and white mixture I had already on my palette. Except this time I'm adding more white to it so that way it's slightly tinted. And I'm going to take that and just add the stickers randomly throughout the cactus. And you want to make sure that you add some along the edge of it as well too. For this step, you want to make sure that you don't have too much paint on your brush because that will make these stickers come off a little too thick. So when you pick up paint, you can always wipe the excess off on your napkin. So that way your brush isn't too overloaded with uh, paint. And you do want to make sure that the brush stays consistently uh, wet while you do this. So that way the paint kind of glides easily off your brush onto the canvas. And that's what helps get that tapered pointed end to the stickers that you see here. 
So we're gonna clean our brushes again and we're gonna give that a moment to dry before we move on to the step of adding the gilding. So the next step we're gonna do is we're going to add the uh, gilding. So I'm gonna grab my liquid gold leaf and you wanna make sure that you shake the bottle up pretty well so that way whatever contents have settled on the bottom is now this uniform gold color. And we're just gonna open that up. This part is best if you wear a mask because it is powerful, a powerful smelling uh, chemical. So you wanna make sure that you protect yourself while you're working with it. Now the kit that you have does come with a plastic brush and that is what I would recommend to use if you do intend on throwing the brush away afterwards since it is an enamel it's not going to clean up as easily with soap and water but I like the way this one feels so I'm going to grab one of my detailing brushes right here and I'm just going to go in into the liquid leaf and I'm going to start adding little details and I'm going to add these on the flowers because I think it would be a nice touch. I'm going to add a little bit on the inside as well too. So I'm just going to highlight a few of the spikes that I made earlier with the white paint. Just to tie the piece in. So for this next step, I'm going to add the fairy lights to the canvas and using my utility knife, I am going to pinpoint where I want to make the holes where I'll feed the lights through afterwards. So you want to make sure during this part that you don't get too close to the edges because there is that wood bracer behind it that will stop you from actually pushing the lights through. So I'm going to stick more towards the center of the canvas and around where the image is at. With the utility knife, I'm going to make one little X and that's going to serve as the hole where I will feed the lights through afterwards. And I want to keep the hole pretty small because the lights are small themselves. So I'm going to add those to the flowers and then I'm also going to add a few around it to make it look like the sky. And you can add as many or as little as you want for this part. So we're going to clear our space of anything that could potentially spill or what we no longer need. And this next step, I'm going to start feeding the fairy lights through the back of my canvas. It comes with a spool of fairy lights such as this, and they have a few different settings that you can work with. And they have this button on the side which you can turn them on and off with. So what I did is, to make this a little easier for myself as I feed them through, as I unroll them, I'm going to take the light, pinch it upwards like this, and then twist it. And that's gonna give me um, an easy, that's gonna make it easier for me as I feed the lights through the canvas in the back. So I'm gonna start with the end of it, and I'm going to feed it through as so. So just like that, and they should pop pretty easily through the holes that we made right now. And you can snake it through the painting. Make sure that you're going in an order to where your lights aren't too far spaced apart from each other. And then taking that I'm just winding it through my canvas. Now to secure them in place, you can use tape to help keep the wires down if you like. This part is completely optional. And I'm gonna push those wires down as well, just to help anchor them in place. And I'm gonna turn these on the setting that I wanna see them at. 
and then I'm gonna tuck the excess behind the canvas. Okay, so now we can just take our canvas and flip it over once we're done. And there you have it.